guys to start things off we're gonna start with jump rope running up and back so what we're gonna do right here is just all you're doing is regular jump rope so always remember guys you want little very 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 little movement here so small range of motion in my wrist it's okay if you mess up just get right back on track no worries um, and my feet aren't really coming that high off the ground as you can see um, my elbows are staying in and my hands are jutting directly out to the sides of my hips and again there's really not a whole lot of movement going on good guys up next Sorry for the motorcycles in the background in case you can hear them. My apologies. All right, squat hold, guys. Here we go. All you're doing is sitting down in squat for 30 seconds right now. Normally, you can do this. You can do a wall sit where you sit against the wall and do this. But in this case, we are just going to do a straight up squat hold. And what it's important to be a little bit less than 90 degrees. 90 degrees is fine. And if you see here, my toes are pointed out slightly and my heels are about shoulder width apart. Form over everything, guys. Form over everything. It's super, super important. Uh, all right, up next. We have jump rope front straddle. Good, guys. So this is just like regular bounce, except you're just slightly jumping back and forth over an imaginary line. Notice any jump rope workout that I ever do Nothing changes about my upper body movement. Everything is staying the same. Wrists are staying. I'm controlling the rope with my wrists and keeping it tight. Knees are slightly bent and my feet are just coming slightly back and forth. Good guys. Three, two, one. Now it is time to take longer strides. Time for a great new American enterprise. Time for this nation to take a clearly leading role in state achievement. Good, I'm actually jumping lunges. Good guys, you're just coming up and down, up and down, exploding, exploding. Use your arms so you can pull some momentum on your way up. Good. Good guys, just so you can get a different angle there, I'm coming straight up in the air and I'm pushing off of my heel. That front foot, I'm not using my toe, I'm pushing back off with my heel, so I engage my glute. Good guys. Up next, jump rope crisscross. So, again, a lot of people, it's okay if you're a beginner and you can do this, you can just do regular bounce, that's not an issue. Um, to those who want to challenge them, themselves, it's really not that um, difficult of a move because there's not a whole lot of extra movement required outside of regular bounce. So if you see, I'm just making a little figure eight motion with my hands circling in and out and then crossing them over. Good guys, jumping jacks, pretty straightforward. I think we've all done this. Just go as intense as you possibly can. Make sure you're getting your arms out there and swing them as much as you are able to. Good guys, jump rope, regular bounce. And here it's important again, just that the elbows are in, hands are jutting out to the side of the wrist. These are slightly bent. And see my toes, they're not even coming, they're probably not even coming more than an inch off the ground. This is where you want to. Uh, a lot of people think that jump rope is a high impact sport. It is totally not if you don't do it correctly. So see me doing it here. I'm gonna make you guys finish with another squat hold because I'm mean like that. Um, 
But yeah, same thing, guys. So you're just down at a 90 degree angle here. Heels about shoulder width apart. And what I what I like to try and do during these is breathe into my nose out to five. Inhale, like inhale, exhale to five into the nose out to the mouth. Um, and stare at something straightforward so that I forget that I'm sitting in kind of an uncomfortable position for an extended period of time. Time for a great new American enterprise. Time for this nation to take a clearly leading role in state achievements.